interested in cloth diapering but you're a little overwhelmed by all the different choices that there are? If so, keep watching. <laughs> my channel and if you're new thank you for watching. Today we'll be talking about the different styles of cloth diapers. We're going to start with the cheapest option and then go up to the more expensive options. So the first one we're going to start with is a flat which it looks like this. I made this one. It can be bamboo, cotton, I think there are some that are hemp. I've never used any that are hemp. I usually go with bamboo or bamboo cotton, but some people also use the flower sack towels that you can get at Walmart in the, in the dish towel section. There are various ways to fold these, and I'll insert a video of me folding one for you. These do require a cover. They're super easy to wash because the type of material that they are. These are a great newborn option, but they can also be used for newborn all the way up to toddler um, when you're in like the potty training stage you can buy a bunch of flats and then a handful of covers because the covers can be reused multiple times before you have to switch to a new cover as long as the baby did not get poop on the cover you can just wipe it out with a baby wipe and then reuse it the second option is a pre-fold looks like this it's a rectangle it's got three different sections and the middle section is the the most absorbent section. It can be folded around baby and secured with a snappy, which I will insert a video of that. And then you can also, if you don't want to do that option, you can also just take these and tri-fold them and lay them straight into a cover and then put on baby. That's a super easy option because you can have, you know, a bunch of pre-folds already laid in the cover, ready to go, so you can put them in your diaper bag when you're out on the go or anything like that. It's super easy. Prefolds are a great option because you can use them all the way from newborn stage up until potty training because you can lay these inside a cover for you know newborn and infants and you can also put this inside of a reusable cloth trainer. Uh, one thing that I love about both prefolds and flats are that when you are done using them as cloth diapers or they've been worn out to where you can't use them as cloth diapers anymore, you can repurpose them for things like a birth cloth or a cleaning towel around your house or pretty much you know any type of Thing that would require a cloth. The third option is a fitted diaper which looks like this. As you can see there's no waterproofing on the outside so it does require a cover. It can have either snap or velcro aplex uh, closure on it. These are very absorbent. And the options for these they can come in bamboo, cotton, hemp, fleece. If you were to go with a fitted diaper all you'd have to do is take the fitted diaper and then take a cover which looks like this. It's just got the, you know, PU out on the inside. And this one has double gussets on it actually, so it really helps contain the poop in there. And then all you have to do is put it on baby and then put the cover right over top of it and you're good to go. These are great for like nighttime options. This diaper I don't actually have, I don't have one of, but I will insert a picture. It is a contour diaper. And these are similar to pre-folds, but they are shaped like a diaper, but they have no closure, so it would require a snappy or some other type of closure, like pins, or I think there's ones called bongo, boingo? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Um, and they do, they do require a cover for those. The fifth option is a hybrid diaper, and a hybrid diaper is a diaper that has both disposable liners that you can put in it as well as reusable liners. I think the most well-known diaper that was a hybrid diaper is the G diapers and they have like the cotton outside and they have a little elastic and um, velcro on the waist and they have little I forget what they call them I think they're like pods or something that snap into the inside and you can put a disposable insert in them or you can also purchase their reusable inserts that they sell. The sixth option is a pocket diaper, which looks like this. This one is Velcro Aplex, um, and it has laundry tabs. What is going on? It has laundry tabs right here, so when you launder them, you just would hook this like this on both sides so that the Velcro inside does not stick to your laundry or stick to other diapers. Um, 
So these do require inserts, which as I said earlier in the video, you can always take, if you have some pre-folds, you can take a pre-fold. And usually the pockets in the back, some have a pocket in the front, some have a pocket both in the front and the back. And those ones I do believe you can just throw right into the wash and they agitate right out. You don't have to unstuff them. But basically what you do is you take your insert or you know pre-fold that you have tri-folded and you just kind of stuff it down to the diaper. And you just kind of straighten that out. And then there you go. You have your absorbents in here and then you just pop it on baby. You can get these in snaps or Velcro. You don't, these don't require a cover because the inside is either going to be TPU or PUL. So TPU is thermal polyurethane and then PUL is polyurethane laminate. And it basically looks like this. Makes the, the diaper waterproof and contains the wetness. The lining of pocket diapers are usually either fleece or micro suede. This one is micro suede, which is a stay dry material. So then when baby pees in the diaper, they won't feel wet. Inserts that you can get for your pocket diapers are gonna be bamboo, hemp, cotton, or a blend of those. Or you can also get microfiber. But I don't recommend microfiber because microfiber not only is prone to compression leaks, but it also cannot be placed against uh, your baby's skin like natural fiber inserts can. And they also are known for holding on to smells. Number seven is an all-in-two diaper like this one. This one is a side snapping all-in-two diaper. And what that means is instead of the snaps being in the front like this, you know where you would snap it straight in the front onto baby, these ones, you would place this part on the baby's tummy and then you would snap it on the side to where it needs to be adjusted to. Which I will insert a video of me putting this diaper on the reborn. An all in two diaper is one that has an insert that snaps out like so. So then you have like the shell, if you will of this and then you can buy multiple inserts and this one as you can see also has the waterproofing on the back so as long as the baby doesn't get any wetness or poop on the cover of the diaper you can just swap out the insert for a new one I personally I loved all-in-two diapers as well as we used a lot of pre-folds and flats when our children were like newborns and infants. And when they got older, I really liked these ones because they were super easy to take out. They were an affordable option because of the fact that you could buy one diaper with multiple inserts that you could use. Number eight is an all-in-one. This is the pricier option of all of the ones I've listed. But this is also the closest option that you will get to a disposable because there's nothing you don't have to stuff anything you don't have to have any type of cover anything because everything is here inserts cover all of it is there so all you have to do is put baby put baby in here <laughs> fold it up on baby snap and you're good to go these are also great options if your child is in daycare and your daycare allows for cloth diapering these are a great option for that. These are also great for grandparents. One in particular is a flap style. Uh, that, is, that is what we refer to it as. I know some people call them a pedal, pedal style, but it is basically, it's got one of the inserts sewn here, one sewn down here, and then it has an insert sewn in the middle. So this one is really adjustable because you can fold it a bunch of different ways to get the absorbency that you need. One of the disadvantages to all-in-ones is that they do have a longer drying time sometimes and sometimes they can also be a little more difficult to clean but I personally never really had an issue with cleaning um, our all-in-ones. I know a lot of people are nervous to start cloth diapering because not only are there so many options out there for cloth diapers it can be overwhelming but there's also the misconception that it is more expensive 
to cloth diaper because the upfront cost does appear to be so much. But if you really think about it, you could spend three to five hundred dollars building your complete diaper stash that'll last you from newborn stage all the way through potty training. And there are potty training options, which I will get into in another video because there are reusable trainers and there are multiple options for that. But when you compare that three to five hundred dollars to the cost of just two and a half years in disposable diapers, which is around twenty five hundred dollars, it is a big difference. You are saving a lot of money. If your family is considering cloth diapering, but your family's financial situation makes it really difficult for you to be able to start building a stash, that is perfectly fine. There are organizations out there that can help. All right, so those are the eight cloth diaper styles. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on future videos. Bye.